there's really four main types of intellectual property. One, you have patents. Two, you have copyrights. Three, you have trademarks. And four, you have trade secrets. Patents. What is a patent? A patent is basically you have a you have a patent. Say you come up with an invention or idea, right? Say you want to create a way for um, you know your uh, MPC, or say you want to create a way for your computer to process beats at a higher rate, and you have a formula in your head, and you know that by you creating this design, you creating this code or this software, that's going to put you in a position to be able to accomplish your goal. At that point, you fix that in a form, you write it down, hopefully you get with an attorney to help you do it so you're protected, and boom, you have a patent. What's a copyright? A copyright is basically anything that you can basically fix in a fixed form. So in my law school class, our professor told us ideas are as free as the air, meaning if you just say something out loud, you can't necessarily claim like, hey, this is my particular thing. Like, oh, this is my idea. This is my this is my copyright. No. What has to happen is if you have a melody in your head, you hum it. Mm, 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 mm. You hum that melody, right? When you just hum that melody like I hummed it to you all, that's not a copyright. I can't, that's not that I can't copyright that. But if I was to record myself humming it, or you all were to record me humming it, and now it's in a fixed form, now we have a copyright. And we'll talk more about that next week as to the value of your copyright and how you monetize that copyright and the rights that you have and everything that comes with owning a copyright. The third thing is a trademark. Ar arguably, I would, I would argue that trademarks are some of the most, same with copyrights and patents, but trademarks are just as equally important. When you as a producer are branding yourself or artist, you're branding yourself and you're trying to put yourself in a position to build a brand and you want people to know about you and you want to say, hey, my name is Kyle the producer and I want everybody to know my producer tag, I want my producer tag, and I want my logo, and I want everything that I do to be known by everybody out there, right? You go in and you say, all right, boom. Now, I have, a, I have an opportunity to grow. I have an opportunity to build a brand. I have an opportunity to get some worldwide recognition. How do I protect all of those things and make sure that I can monetize them? You create a trademark. So if my name is Kyle the Producer, or if I have a logo that's Kyle the producer and is really, really nice as a trademark, I could take now and license my trademark. So once I get my brand big enough, everybody on Instagram knows me. I'm doing numbers on Spotify. I'm coll collaborating with large artists. Everybody knows my producer tag. Everybody knows my logo. Everybody knows everything about me. I could take all of that stuff, put it on a hoodie, trademark that hoodie. And now because I have a trademark, I can say, hey, Paxson, hey, um, Macy's, hey, Dillard's, hey, Dick Sporting Goods, hey, Walmart, take my brand and my trademark, let me license it to you and put it on your shelves. So what you have to always think about is when you have certain forms of intellectual property, that trademark, it acts just as if, you know, you're purchasing a piece of real estate. That's your intellectual property. You can license it out to stores. You can license it out to local stores, larger stores, online platforms, but you have to have that trademark because if you don't have that trademark, if you don't have that copyright, if you don't have that patent and your idea isn't fixed, then someone could come along, take your idea, and if they know what you should know or what you need to know, they can make money off of it. So that's something to always think about. And the last thing is trade secrets. So this one is similar to a patent, but it's, it's a little bit different. A trade secret is something that, um, say you have a secret formula as a way to where you, the way you make your loops. You know, I know there's a lot of things out there now where people get loops from different places, but say you make your loops and you have this formula and you go into your laboratory and you sit behind your computer and you make your loops a certain type of way. And nobody in the world, you know, like, hey, I distort this, I turn this EQ up, I do this, I do that. No one's beats, no one's 808s, 
Uh, no one's hi hat sound like this because this is the way that I do it. And that's considered to be a trade secret because it's what makes what you do. It's what makes your trademark. It's what makes your copyrights. It's what make it what makes your it's what makes your intellectual property valuable. So you always want to be considerate of you know everything that you have and everything that you create and make sure that you understand the value of those things because if you don't, um, you know you won't actually be able to monetize it and you won't be able to have longevity. You know as a producer, as an artist. 